Only 25 years old, Newton had made some of the most stunning breakthroughs in the history of science, but he kept them almost entirely to himself, just as he had done with calculus. After the plague subsided, he returned to Cambridge, where he worked his way up to an appointment as the Lucasian Professor of Mathematics, the position held by Stephen Hawking today. Newton became known for his prematurely white hair and for his long-winded lectures on light. That belongs to refractions, tacitly founding their demonstration on a certain physical hypothesis not well established. I judge it will not be unacceptable if I bring the principles of science to more strict examination. The introverted Newton had little time for students, and they had little interest in him. Years later, one of Newton's laboratory assistants would recall, so few went to him, and fewer that understood him, that oftentimes he did, in a manner, for want of hearers, read to the walls. <laughs> 